Hello. So we're here to talk about the, the beautiful world of Pisces, a world of, of paradise, really. Um, compassion, spiritual things and love. Pisces is about the greatest love of all. Um, the love that uh, it's just as completely selfless love, um, a love that, that um, knows no bounds. Um, and it gives without wanting anything back. It gives without expecting a return, a completely unconditional love. And Piscean people are people who, who dream of one day returning or, or finding um, that beautiful love, returning to it or finding it. Um, and this is the Piscean dream. This is the heart of, of the Pisces mystery and the Pisces love. So um, they have a, a soft and gentle and misty approach to life. They dislike harsh things. It's it's not it's not nice that they like everything to be to be loving and, and dreamy. Um, it, it, life is not about fighting for them. Um, the Pisces promise is that you can rise above it all, and that you can get higher to a great spiritual white light or a great spiritual love that is beyond all the bickering and fighting, something that uh, is so pure and so white uh, uh, that it's, it's almost not human because it's, it's, it's angelic. So this is a very self-sacrificing energy. These people will become doormats to other people if necessary. They're very porous. They will mop up all the toxic, bad stuff in the world. They're kind of like like dustbins really, that sounds awful, but they are because you can pour all kinds of stuff in there and, and the Pisces will just keep taking it and taking it and taking it. They're, they're like big sponges and they can take, well, they think they can take all the, all the, the bad stuff in the world and, and heal it and fix it and fix it and make it better. So they're very good with charitable work and voluntary work. You'll often find them um, in monasteries or um, with higher spiritual faith systems. Um, they want so much to help people. Um, and so they make great hospital visitors and uh, they make great people to work in the health service in general um, because their ideals are we want to make everything better. We want to take away all misery and poverty. We want to take away all pain. We have lovely aspirations to have. Pisceans believe that one day, one day, somehow, people can change. And a Piscean will stay in a relationship long after it's got bitter and antagonistic and difficult for them because they, their dream is that one day, if they give enough, if they love enough, then that person will change and they will have made the difference to that person's life, that they can introduce them to love. Pisces wants to introduce everything and everybody to the mysteries of love. So um, the Piscean energy is also good, along the healing theme, it's also good for things like Reiki, people who are very Piscean, like uh, can, can adapt um, and take part in um, giving and receiving Reiki um, because Reiki is about the transfer of, of universal energy and it's about not having boundaries because that energy must flow from one person to another and flow in, in the cosmos. Pisces believes that there are no boundaries, that energy just flows around and that's why nothing matters really for a Piscean. Matter, physical things, things that you can touch and hold, things that you can spend, things that have value, gold, silver, houses, cars. None of this matters to the Pisces really because at the end of the day, their dream is that it will all just blend into mystical oneness, that it, was all, that it will all dissolve and just return to the great white light in the sky. Um, this is something that Pisces holds dear to their heart. Pisceans love being in love. That makes sense, doesn't it? Um, but the thing is, they can often love too many people at the same time. They don't like to give their love specifically to one person. Um, they love falling in love. They're giddy. They're intoxicated by it. This is just so dreamy. It, it feels so nice to them. It feels like this Piscean heavenly dream. Um, and they want to fuse in with the beloved for the time that they are so intoxicated until they realize they're not loving all the others too. So they want to fuse with the beloved. The timing in relationships is bad. They either declare their love too soon or they don't declare it at all. 
they can have issues um, with sex because Pisceans want their love to be so pure and white um, and, and mystical that sometimes this doesn't quite fit with a, um, a more sexual um, or brutal approach, if you like. Um, they pine and yearn and long for a lost utopian heaven and often they can bring this into relationships and kind of mix the two up. Um, often, Pi I have to say this, I'm sorry, but for Pisces men, they often fall in love with the next relationship before they've remembered to tell the last one <laughs> that they are moving on. Um, they, they can't refuse the person in front of them. So if somebody flirts with them, they, they, they can't refuse that person or turn them down. They, they, they kind of want to enter into this, uh, this wonderful um, love that is offered to them. Um, and Piscean people in general always want to please people. And so they do find it difficult to turn people down or say no. They have extremely difficult problems with putting boundaries in between themselves and another. They would much rather say what the person in front of them wants to hear, in which case they can be accused of being deceitful or untruthful. But for them, it wasn't deceit or untruth. It was not wanting to hurt. Genuinely, their hearts are so compassionate for others, their empathy and their sympathy is so great that what seems like untruthfulness is actually the Piscean need to, to really not hurt anybody, to just be a, a very gentle and sensitive soul. They make great actors as a result, or actresses, um, because the director can um, form the Pisces um, person into what they want them to be. They can instruct them and the Pisces will, will do what is required. Um, they will give up their own egos in an effort to um, to meet the needs of what somebody else demands of them. All Pisceans have this vague memory of a, a beautiful, divine, shimmering white light because this is, this is the Pisces heaven. Um, there, there is something of the, the Christian myth here where Jesus says, I am the light that is above everything. Um, Pisces recognizes that there is a heaven above the sun, that there is a light further out into the cosmos, a place which is paradise, um, a Garden of Eden type place. Um, and they, they hear that calling to them all the time. It's, it's like the Pisces yearns and pines and longs for this paradise and just wants to return there one day. These are beautiful people to know. They are the gentlest souls. Um, and it's just nice to be around them because they, they can take away all of the hurts and ills. So there we go, um, just a little bit on, on the mysterious world of Pisces. Um, Piscean sun signs will recognize something of themselves there, but we all have a little bit of Pisces in us somewhere. And so if you're reading this and because, sorry, you're listening to this because your boyfriend's a Pisces, you may think to yourself, actually, I'm a bit like that as well myself. That's because we all have it in us somewhere. OK, I hope you enjoyed that short video on Pisces. Um, my name is Alison Chester Lambert. I'm an astrologer, obviously, um, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of my uh, short YouTube videos um, talking about the different topics in astrology. Thank you for listening, and it was lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.